Hello. This is a little chat about this painting. This painting was created for um, WESAC a couple of years ago. And it's really about uh, a special birth that's happening, we think, in Shambhala. As you can tell, it has huge energies associated with it. Uh, the power of the uh, first strain of women power, the red uh, colouring, and this incredible violet purple colour of the seventh ray of reorder and organisation and magic, uh, enormous blue of the second ray of love wisdom. So this is a period where the world is going through major transformation and uh, a group of us internationally are meditating around the world as we know a new group of world servants, you may be one among them, and what we're doing is we're trying to build a few capable of uh, being unified, to be one, to be at peace, to be able to be one heart, one mind, one spirit, so that we can be, as a field of energy, a field of consciousness, receivers and transmitters, or at least receivers of divine intent and purpose. So as you can see, um, I've been working on this painting as an inspirational tool so that we can start to look at symbolically what is really involved. But going back now a few steps, um, as I was mentioning earlier uh, about a group, a field of consciousness that is one heart, one mind, one spirit. Um, the, idea of, the idea is that we are one soul uh, and you are all one soul. And if we combine together, we are petals of a greater soul, uh, petals of a big lotus, a major field of awareness. So the idea is that we are able to then, uh, from a buddhic or intuitional level, have insights from, hopefully, from the guidance of the planet, wise teachers who may have passed on, who are still working with us to help us along our journey. Uh, so. This is a very exciting time. Now, we could talk a lot about that and I will in further programs, but for this one, let's discuss this painting for the moment. As you see, it's been inspired by a, a globular cluster or a cluster in the sky, but just take it as a symbol. Take it as a symbol for uh, a birthing process. I think if we observe it, and we will shortly, in a more intense way, by getting closer to the aspects of it, you'll see that there is great pressure, great tension, enormous uh, intensity of energy. So we think of this energy of synthesis, of oneness, of bringing together many disciplines, many concepts, many ideas, many energies, and we're all subjected to those energies, whether we like it or not. Uh, from our perspective, it is a great idea if we are aware that we can actually, as a group, handle those energies in a way we may not be able to by ourselves individually. So the more willing we are to try to be a team, trying to work as a harmonious whole, the better it is. But here, just looking at the symbols here, just the energies themselves, uh, are intense. So as we were speaking earlier, we're going to look at this intensity. So just explore the intensity of this color alone. So think of the will and power in you. Think of the intensity that is, lives within you. Think of your capacity to be a transformational agent. And so in this painting we're seeing this uh, fiery, Place within the cosmos. This does demonstrate in a large way what's happening to the planet Earth. Now, observing this, we are also seeing this uh, birthplace of suns, literally. And yes, you're correct, it's a Orion nebula. It really is a nebula from which suns are born. So new worlds are created. We're in a position where we can create a humanity to another level of functioning, to another level of unity and oneness. Uh, imagine organisations cooperating together. 
imagine medicine making massive frontiers, um, breakthroughs with uh, unified work globally. There's always amazing work being done behind the scenes with scientists, with astrophysicists, with um, educators, all manner of science and arts and culture. So be one of them, not by yourself, but in community. So observing now this enormous place of birthing, of development, of amazing energies coming together in a way that even the teachers don't know exactly what's going to happen. Put two old souls together, they say, and the potential is phenomenal. Put two conscious old souls together and you have magic, you have genius, you have brilliance, you have love and you have joy. Don't forget that, there is joy. There is joy. So, um, all these are sons being born. From my perspective, I've added to it and changed this image, obviously, because it spoke to me. Uh, and it speaks to me of uh, globes and the hierarchy of teachers and how they help us. And there are streams here of actual globes coming into the world coming into existence. Now it sounds abstract, but it isn't really abstract. It really actually has uh, a symbolic way of representing our own journey. So coming further this way then, uh, we're able to see that here there is actually an angel, if you like, or a deva, or a great being. Um, its wings are actually hidden here, but it is actually coming in to assist, if you like, the birthing process. So this is a very sacred time for us all. And we need to remember that we can assist. We can be of enormous help if we only are willing to be one with each other. So when you see another human being, when something about them speaks to you, say to yourself, ah, who is this soul? Who is this person? How can I cooperate with them more fully? I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see. Let's go have a coffee and let's discuss what makes us come alive in life. It's a wonderful journey. Please enjoy.